Today we're going to be showing our ultrasonic hardness tester. It's an extremely compact device. It has uh, rechargeable batteries in the case here. A backlit display. And on the display we can set it for Rockwell as we have in this case. We can hit the scale button and do it in Brunel or Vickers. And we also have user specified as uh, strength. This is for tensile strength. Uh, user specified values too for Rockwell C, Brunel and Vickers. Uh, so this is a comparative tester so you can have a known sample and calibrate the unit to that sample. So it could be titanium for example and if you have a known sample or two samples you can calibrate the unit and get extremely accurate results. So with the display also we can have it set up so when we're doing a test we can do the average of the number of values in a test or single and to do a test I take my test probe which has a uh, Vickers diamond tip on the end and I carefully place it on the part and just push down and when the device beeps we have a result and you can see here we have 62.3 Rockwell. Normally you're going to be doing more than one test so if I come back to the material again and I push down I have a hardness test and you can see here we're extremely accurate uh, it's repeating and it's giving us a variation here in fact below 1% and we have an uh, average of 62 in terms of the Rockwell scale. We can also with this device do very very thin parts for checking the hardness of that it would not be practical for a rebound type tester so if I come over here I place the device on the part, I push down and I get a hardness value or perhaps a part like this also relatively small come over on the part and we get a result now it's not just doing super thin parts that these testers are ideal for we can also do uh, heavyweight parts I'm just going to click here because it does have a timeout and in a case like this where it's a very very small area because of the nature of the probe on the end I can get inside of this and do a test. Another advantage of this particular tester is that it will take the D-type probe as well so we can do rebound tests as well for parts that are not suitable for ultrasonic testing and those are the more granular parts. The device works where you push down the impact body is fired at the part. This is the impact body here and a test is done. This would be used for parts like grey cast iron or parts that have a much more granular grain structure. Thank you.